Good morning. I uh, wanted to share with you this morning how to make a comfrey poultice. Comfrey is a beautiful plant that's been cultivated for centuries as a deep internal healer. And here's where I'm sharing this with you because two days ago at the Quinault River, I slipped on a wet rock and I twisted my ankle. I sprained it really bad. Thank God it wasn't fractured, uh, but it is a pretty bad sprain. So I'm off of it for a few days. Um, but comfrey, is a healer that has been cultivated for generations. It's an ancestral heritage and a gift from our grandparents and great-great-grandparents who left us the information of how to use comfrey to work deeply into the muscles and the ligaments, and it heals from deep, deep inside. Its Latin name is symphytum, which means, it, it comes from symphos, which means to unite. And our great grandmothers called this knit bone. That's how, what they called this plant, knit bone. And they used it to help heal broken bones, sprains, bruises, deep wounds, not surface wounds, not anything that's cut on the surface, but deep inside to heal because it, it has a cell proliferant in it, which means it speeds up cell healing from deep inside. Now, here's one word of caution, two words of caution. Number one, don't take it internally. Don't eat it, don't drink it. There's reasons why. Um, I'll put it in the blog post. Secondarily, don't ever use comfrey on an open wound. You know, you scrape your skin or you've got a cut or whatever and you're like, yay, cell proliferant. Mm -mm -mm. What happens is, because it heals so quickly, it'll heal the very top before it heals what's deep inside and you'll end up with an abscess. So never use it on open wounds like that, okay? Only when the skin's not broken, that's when it does its finest and it heals quickly. I've used it on my family and friends for years. Kids grew up with it, healing sprains, healing bruises, healing owies deep inside. So let's go to the kitchen. Actually, let's go outside first. Let's go outside and I want you to meet Comfrey. Very easy to cultivate, oh my goodness. You wanna keep it in a container because comfrey will spread everywhere. So I have one of those old oak barrels, uh, the wine barrels cut in half, and that's where I keep my comfrey. Let's go outside and take a look. So comfrey is a member of the borage family, and the symphytum genus, it has about 35 species. So there's a lot of them, and they can all be used. The leaves are quite large, and they can be a little prickly. There's little teeny spikes underneath. You can see them on the leaf here. They're uh, native to Europe and also to Asia, and you can find them here all over the place in the United States. But the alkaloid content that you don't want to be taking inside your body, you don't want to be eating or drinking it, uh, it differs from plant to plant. So the best time to use it is when the flowers just start to bud, although I use the leaf all year round. Also when I'm using the root, it's either early in the spring or late in the fall when all of the energy has gone back down into the root. The roots are long and they can grow up to six feet long. Um, also, if you're digging up root and you leave any behind, you're gonna get another plant. It's very easy to grow. It has a very high mucilage content, so when you blend it up, it turns kind of gel-y. Um, in Chinese medicine, it's considered nutritive and very cooling. It's a yin tonic. Um, also, it's a source of uh, this chemical called allantoin, which is known as a cell proliferant. In other words, it makes your cells grow very quickly, which is why it works great when you're trying to deep heal deep inside in those muscles and ligaments that get torn or in bones that have been broken. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna cut this comfrey, these comfrey leaves. I have about 12 of them, different sizes. I'm gonna cut them into the blender. Comfrey into chunks into the blender. I use a blend tech, because it makes great smoothies. Then I'm gonna pour about a quarter cup of water that I've boiled so it's nice and hot. And the reason I use hot water is because actually what I'm making is a very thick infusion. 
So I want to bring the uh, medicinal properties out of the comfrey. Put the lid on. It's going to be loud. I'm going to blend it for just a minute until it gets nice and uh, smooth. Okay. So this is almost like a gel consistency. A pasty gel is what you're looking for. Not too thin, but you want it thick enough to, to be able to stick to your cheesecloth. Okay, so now that we've got that ready, we're going to use cheesecloth and lay it down. You can get cheesecloth from the grocery store. This one's called Good Cook. It's got a picture of a canning jar on top. Um, or a fabric store if you don't have some. Or you can use a sheet or any other fabric that's going to allow the poultice to seep through is what you're looking for. So I used this one last night. It's green, my favorite color. Um, and I have layers, like three layers of cheesecloth. I'm going to lay it down on top of the cookie sheet that's been pre-prepared with aluminum foil to try to catch because this will get drippy when I lay it on my foot. So I'm going to catch it as I'm carrying it across the room. Okay, so the cheesecloth is laid down like this. Again, there's three layers of cheesecloth. Now I'm going to take the comfrey that I have blended and I'm going to go ahead and just lay it right on top in the middle. Make a big old pile and you can see the green liquid starting to seep. And I want every bit of that good stuff. Boy, this is really medicinal. Okay big pile of it and then I'm going to just spread it out so that there's enough to wrap around my foot and my ankle like that okay and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry it over to where I'm going to be sitting and we'll shoot there how to put it on your foot on something like a sprain or a break or a bruise comfrey poultices are amazing so I've got my poultice here <clears throat> I've got an extra layer that I'm going to wrap around once I get the poultice on. Let's see if I can find the image. There we go. So I'm going to take the poultice and fold it into thirds, fold over the uh, comfrey. And I'm going to take the whole thing. It's very drippy. So what I have underneath me is I have towels that I use just for this purpose. And underneath that is a garbage bag that's wrapping my chair So because it, it will drip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off of here. It's wrapped in the thirds. I'm going to lay it right on top of where the sprain is. Gently push it down. And then I take this other piece of cheesecloth and I'm going to wrap it just like you would wrap your ankle with an ace bandage, just to hold it in place and keep it close to the skin. Just like that. And then I will sit here and work on my computer probably for the next two hours, as long as I can sit <laughs> before I need to get up and move around again. And I just let that do its thing. It'll stay nice and moist in there like that. And the comfrey will soak deep down into the skin, which is like a big mouth. It just takes in everything that's up against it. And so it's gonna, it's gonna just lap up the medicine and take it deep into the tissues. Remember when you're cutting leaves, picking leaves, digging root, always say thank you to that beautiful plant. Uh, give your gratitude in advance and always as we're using it uh, because of all the love it gives us and healing energy. Um, it's a beautiful exchange of energy back and forth. I'm going to sit here with this poultice on my leg for a while and um, we'll be back to make some comfrey root into mama's magic medicine in our next video spotlighting comfrey. That's it for Comfrey. You go out and make this an absolutely beautiful day. Peace to all, life to all, love to all. Thank you. This morning, I want to share with you comfrey, what the plant is, how it works, and then we'll go into the kitchen. I'll show you how to make a poultice, and I'm going to be sitting right here at my computer 
with one on my ankle while we do this. <laughs> no, that's dumb. You can't do that. You can't go into the kitchen. Oh, Lord.